Parts Express, the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components. Hi, I'm Joe with Parts Express. Today I'd like to talk to you about a subject that's near and dear to my heart, rehabilitating old loudspeakers. For the last 45 years or so, foam has been the most commonly used material for a woofer surround in home audio. But the problem with foam is that after 5, 10, 15, or 20 years, it gets brittle, cracks, and disintegrates. Here in this woofer, you can see that it's started to separate here and here. This doesn't necessarily mean this woofer is shot and in need of replacement, all it needs is fixed. If you have this problem with one of your woofers, we can usually repair it for you in our speaker repair center, but the most economical option is going to be to do it yourself with one of our foam surround kits. I'd like to show you how to do that today. When a lot of folks have problems with their woofer surround, the first instinct is to replace the driver. Now we can definitely help you with that, but oftentimes it's going to be more economical and the surer way to restore factory performance to the speaker to fix the driver you've got. The first step, now that we've got the driver out of the cabinet, is going to be to remove the old foam surround material. We're just going to be careful not to tear the paper cone while we're doing this. Oftentimes the material on the cone and the material attached to the basket will be the hardest to remove. We'll do what we can by hand, but we may have to use tools as well. You can see here that there's a little bit of damage to the cone that I managed to inflict taking that foam off. That's not going to be a big deal, it won't affect the project here. But if the damage to the cone is more severe, unfortunately that will mean that this is going to need a reconing job that can be done at our speaker repair center. Getting all the foam surround material off the basket is usually a little trickier and may require the use of a solvent. Here we're using paper towels that we've soaked with isopropyl alcohol. We're just going to try to soak that foam surround a little bit and encourage the adhesive to loosen. Then we're going to take a razor blade and try to encourage that foam material to come loose. Wow, that was quite a montage and a lot of work, but I think the speaker is now clean enough to put a new surround on. The next step will be removing the old dust cap from the speaker. You want to be very careful not to cut the voice coil leads that are down in there. So we're going to make a very careful X in the center of the driver. And we're going to carefully peel the old dust cap away. Okay. We're going to try to get as much of the old dust cap off as possible. But if there's a little ridge of material, it's not a big deal. It won't be acoustically significant. Okay, we've got the voice coil exposed now. The next trick will be to use these shims that are included with the kit and fit them in around the dust cap. For the refoaming process, we want to make sure that the voice coil is exactly centered. And that's what taking off the dust cap and shimming is going to do for us. Okay, that should do it. Now comes the fun part. The 10 inch refoaming kit comes with two sets of foam. You'll want to pick the one that best fits the cone you've got. This should work just fine. We're going to take the supplied foam swab and glue and we're going to apply a little bit of glue to that swab. And we're going to apply a thin, even layer around the outside of the cone. In addition to putting glue on the cone, we also recommend putting a thin skiff of glue on the surface of the foam itself. We want it to be tacky when we put the new foam surround on. If your layer is thin, it shouldn't take very long at all. As the glue holding the foam to the cone dries, we want to go around and make sure that it's not lifting up and that there's no bubbles or irregularities developing. Once you're sure you don't have any areas that are going to lift up on here, I suggest walking away from it for 15 minutes and letting the glue set up a little bit. Okay, we stepped out for a minute and had a nice hearty lunch, came back, and the glue is dry around the inner edge of the foam. Now, despite our best efforts, you can see that it didn't quite adhere very well here. So the first step is going to be to get that taken care of. What we're going to do is apply a little bit of glue to one of the unused shims. And we're going to spread that glue around on the inner edge of the foam, being careful not to get too much on the cone. Okay, we're going to hold this until it's fairly tacky and the glue is going to hold on its own. 
Okay, now we've got that brush fire put out, let's go ahead and apply glue to the other edge of the foam surround. We're just gonna lift it up and apply that same fairly conservative, even layer of glue. Okay, now we got glue applied to the entire underside of that edge. We're just gonna go ahead and squeeze it down with our thumbs and make sure that it's gonna adhere all the way around. Be careful around the screw holes and make sure you're going to get a good airtight seal because the uh, basket is going to have a lot less area here for that glue to adhere to. So we're going to be really careful there. Okay, for the first 10 minutes or so we let the glue dry on the outside edge, we went ahead and tamped down anywhere it was raising up, added a little bit of glue wherever it was necessary, and now we've got to this point where everything seems to be adhering to the cone and the frame. Everything's dry to the point where it's not going to uh, lift up on us. So now's the time we're going to go ahead and finish this project up. We'll lift out the shims that have held the cone centered around the voice coil. Notice the kit comes with two different styles of dust cap. We've got a paper dust cap here and a polypropylene one. We're just going to see which one fits better. Paper looks pretty good. Polypropylene looks pretty good too and it's got a wider edge to put some glue down on. So that's what we're going to use. Once again we'll break out our handy foam swab. And we're going to apply a little bit of glue, just enough to get that to adhere. It's not going to take very much. And we'll go ahead and center it up around the voice coil. And we'll hold it there till it adheres. Okay, as a last step for the extra paranoid, I'm going to put a little extra bead of glue down around the inner edge of the surround. Okay, now we're going to use that moist paper towel and we're going to clean up a little bit around the edges. Okay, and as soon as this is dry, this woofer should be ready to install. If you've got a foam gasket around the outside edge, go ahead and glue it on now. Refoaming kits for a wide variety of drivers are available on our website. Or, if the whole process seems a little bit too intimidating, check out our speaker repair center and they can usually do the work for you. Lots of kits and DIY resources are available online at PartsExpress.com. Check it out today. Over 15,000 products, free same-day shipping on most orders, 45-day no-hassle returns, and free tech support. PartsExpress.com, the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components.